Oh. So what are we playing this week? Well, clearly it's Cube Face, also known as Roblox. Boxhead, the Zombie Wars. A game where a full auto rocket launcher won't necessarily save you. This is a weird statement, isn't it? I mean, also a weird statement is the pistol that's still pretty good. Actually, yeah, you get to the late game and honestly, sometimes pistols were an easier way to deal with the demon enemies than anything else. I think it's because they were fairly accurate and you didn't have to worry about them running into some random teleporting guy as much. That's fair. Boxhead the Zombie Wars is a basic top-down shooter where you're dropped into a small arena in which cuboid zombies will continuously spawn. Every type has different abilities, ranging from your basic zombies that just wander around the map trying to kill you, to teleporters, to the mummies that I think just take extra hits. I think it's also they show up in the start, middle of the field to start with. Oh yeah, that too. And there's the ones that run at you, and then there's the demons. Yep. Which shoot fireballs. Oh, and by man. fireballs, I mean firewalls. Replaying it for the first time since I was younger, it brought back so many flashbacks to hear that ah, 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 noise. Honestly, most of my flashbacks were from being the guy in charge of swapping weapons for you as you actually played the game. So when we were a kid, we couldn't conceptualize swapping weapons in order to play. So I would control where we were pointing and what we were shooting at, and he would control where on the number bar to press to get different weapons at a moment's notice. And to be fair, it was really effective in comparison. Oh yeah, we were really good at it. It was way more effective than me playing on my own. And desperately scrolling through the weapons with a scroll wheel, yeah. Most of the time I was... Scroll? Yes. Oh! Most of the time that I was playing, I was just staring at the screen as I desperately hunted for where on earth my rocket launcher was, wishing I had Josh there. And I'd like to think I did fairly okay on my own. It was my first time actually playing on my own, I think. It, it wasn't a hard game. That was what surprised me the most, was I remembered it being such a hard game when we were kids. And to be fair, we got to such late levels, usually. That's true. Maybe that's why I remember it being so hard. It's because we got, at least from what I remember, pretty far along, so... But overall, it didn't feel difficult, and most of the time when I would die, I died because a bunch of demons box me in, and it's just a continuous, ah, 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 and you can't move. Yeah. That's not a fun mechanic. There are not enough iframes to escape the fire if another one fires in a direction and boxes you in. I'm not necessarily sure that was an intended mechanic, but the yeah, obvious answer here would be having killed, you, killed them earlier, but it's easier said than done. Much easier. A lot of the weapons you get are cool. Uh, you've got the barrels that explode. One of my favorite things to do was to trap them behind a line of barrels and just fight off everything else and then finally go over to the line of barrels, shoot them once and kill off 90% of the enemies that were still stuck behind the barrels. If you're really lucky, you can get like two walls set up like that. Just save yourself a bunch of trouble. Oh yeah. Um, the barriers, all the turret guns. The airstrike was good, but not perfect, because it had a delay. Yeah, that was so always a pretty hard part. big delay. Because if you want to use the airstrike, you got to basically be empty-handed. So you go to the airstrike, you press airstrike, then you've got to go back to a weapon. And then you have to keep fighting things off until... Which usually was right after you died. Yep. But then again, I see why they didn't want to just be... I feel like it would have worked on the delay if they had even just assigned it to a different button. Like if here's move, here's shoot, maybe like control activated airstrike. I mean, it makes sense, but then where on the screen do you keep track of it that it's not in the way of everything else since you get it at the end? Top right hand corner. Since you get it at the end though, that you wouldn't just be like, oh, you get an airstrike, can't find that your scroll bar. It's one of those I could see it being implemented once people knew it would be a thing. Just show the control key next to it. Then how do you know? To or go include there? it, or include it in the instructions for how to play. And be like, hey, if you re live really long, you might get one of these. 
That's the only thing I can think of, because that would fix the problem where you could still keep fighting them off, but when you have to switch to and from the airstrike, it be turns into this issue where you don't end up using the airstrike until it's too late because you don't want to waste the airstrike, but then you finally swap over and swap back, and in doing so, you've made a bad situation that you needed the airstrike in even worse. Yeah, it's definitely one of those great idea, but flawed. Still overall, I'd say a great, fun game. It was decent. I'm not even sure I can really call it that fun because after the first time or two that I played it, every time I replayed it got really monotonous. Uh, it would it agree with most shooters though, so that could just be our aversion to the genre. That's true, but because of the style and because of the way that it worked, it felt really boring to me. It was interesting the first couple times, and then... I can make the same argument against every popular game in the last five years. Touché. Touché. We'll see you in the next Fortnite. Go, 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 go!